racer, there's no more important piece of technology in these F4 cars than the steering wheel. It guides the car, and there's a huge amount of electronic data available through that wheel. Team owner Jeremy Dale, himself a world-class racer, gives us a tour. As the F4 car is the junior version of the modern up-to-date racing car, so is the steering wheel in this car. While not as complex as something like a Formula One car, it has all the basic functions on it that the drivers need. Uh, obviously, it starts with the back of the steering wheel with the shift paddles back here, little carbon tabs that operate those switches to upshift the car and downshift the car. And then the screen here, which gives the driver basic information, and they can scroll through with this yellow button, they can scroll through different screens that give them different information. Some of it's for the driver, some of it's for the mechanics and engineers and so on. And then you get your other functions, the radio button here, which is the two-way radio for pit communication, the pit lane speed limiter, which gives them uh, uh, essentially a maximum speed that the car can achieve. These two buttons select neutral in the, in the gearbox because that's not done on the back. It's done with either of those two buttons there. This yellow button down here scrolls the pages, as I said before. This rain button is actually just a red light that flashes at the back of the car when the cars are racing in wet conditions. It's a, it's a strobing LED for safety. And then this ACK is acknowledging you can get an alarm and you can see right now I actually have an oil pressure alarm there because the car isn't running. So the car is not very happy because the oil pressure is too low. And then just above the screen here are the shift lights and these will come on in sequence and help the drivers know exactly when to select their next gear to upshift. So that's the basic parameters of a F4 steering wheel.